we, we ain't got no overtime over here at the up companies. Sometimes that's a good thing. Sometimes it's a bad thing. Sometimes it's a bad thing. Welcome back to another episode of Two Fat Friends. Today, we went to Joey B's. Um, so, multiple locations for Joey B's. We went to the one uh, that's closest to where we are. It's just one here off Manchester. It looks like a real cool spot, except we didn't get in. Couldn't get in. It's packed uh, here on brunch day. Yeah, brunch is packed in Man off Manchester. Who would have thought? Um, so, this is what's happening. We ordered, and now we're waiting for it to come out. So, most of the B-roll and things like that, it's all going to be outside because, well, we didn't get inside. But what I saw looked good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And uh, so, we ordered the um, pretzel bites. Comes with a jalapeno cheese sauce. and. Yeah. The meat, the meaty pizza. Grandpa something or other pizza. Grandpa's pizza. Came out about 40 bucks. We'll see if it was worth it. On a different note, see what this guy got me. That's a Christmas present. Y'all ain't ready for that. Y'all know nothing about that. No, no, nothing about that. All right, we'll see you when the food arrives. <laughs> So you seen it? Seen the food? Mm. Nice little. They say it's got jalapenos in it. Smell it. Uh, Smell it. Uh, You're gonna like it. You're gonna like it. Smell like jalapeno. There you go. Y'all can get a bite. Focus. Y'all can get a bite. Try bite, soul. Hmm. Let me get with the cheese. Hold on. You need a bite? A little pretzel bite. Uh, little pretzels are good. That's odd. I hope you cheese is alright, but it's not as good as beer cheese. Hmm. All it's right. weird because the pretzel is like sweet. And I like it, but. Yeah, the pretzel bites themselves are like, they're fluffy. Um, they're soft. It's not kind of what I want in a pretzel. I want to have that nice kind of thick out exterior and the inside I want the bread to be soft and warm but it's all kind of like the pretzel's like a roll yeah it's almost like mini rolls yeah and the cheese itself you can smell jalapenos but when you, when you get a bite of it you get the cheese but you get this weird artificially flavor on the back end of it I don't know maybe that's just me that's how I'm perceiving it but I don't know, I don't know man for $11 no no uh -uh. Matter of fact, of all the pretzel bites we've had, to include Vinny's, I like these the least. Honestly, well, I don't like them, but the least. I like the pretzel. Mm -hmm. Probably a little bit better than Vinny's. What? I don't know, man. They're like little rolls. It's weird. Like, for real. Here, let me show you. Let me show you, fam. Let me show you. Okay. Can you see that? It won't focus. But look, look, watch. See how I'm pressing in on it? Okay? And it just sits there. Like, that's some, that's some fucking roll action, bro. I want pretzels. The pretzel bites. Why don't you just give these away as free rolls, mini rolls? You've got a point. But, oh, they're all right. They're about 
six dollars and fifty cents, all right, but yeah, they damn sure ain't no eleven dollars. Like, no, Joy B's on some high dollar shit here. They're crazy on that shit. Yeah, no. Mm -mm. I do like the roll of the. Uh, yeah, it is a roll. The it's bread's not even tasty. A pretzel. Now the bread's tasty for real. Yeah. It's just not. It's not a pretzel bite. It's not a pretzel. It doesn't taste like pretzel. It doesn't look like pretzel. It's like a pretzel bite and a Hawaiian roll met. Ooh, that would be. I feel like that would be better than what we got here. Maybe it's the cheese is off. Oh. Oh man. They should take this and just make this like either a queso or a, some other form of spiced cheese than what they tried to do here. It doesn't work, at least not for me. Um, and they should, or change the name to like Roll Bites or fucking, I don't know, something like that. Yeah, it's not, it's not quite a pretzel bite, but it is good though. Yeah. It's just not, yeah, it's not $11 good. No, no, here, take the last one, you like them. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah uh, if this was at like $7 or $8, it would be a little bit more palatable, but $11, it's too much. I'm at a six on the pretzel bites. Um. I don't know. Probably 6'4". I don't mind them as bad, but... That's just frustrating. It's not a They're just not. Yeah, they're not pretzels. Not a standard pretzel bite by any means. A lot of people love Joy B's, man. Maybe we just got the wrong stuff. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not. So I think this is where the home... Is. Oh, fuck. They're just, they already seen it. Here, no, well, they're gonna see the group. Uh, uh, just hold it under. Fuck out, oh my guy. There you go. Alright, so this has bacon, pepperoni, I assume that's ham. Yeah. Ham, it's a sheep pizza style. Sausage. Um, and as always, my family. Here, you guys get the first bite. Oh, it's oh, wait. good. Oh, you can't get that bite? I can't taste you good. Ones. Mm. Right away. Undercarriage check. I mean, right away. Crust, good. Sausage, excellent. The ham, yeah, no, it's ham. Mm. Bacon, at least you get thin, thick slices of bacon. That's true. I don't know. I feel like... I feel like the story of this is a similar story that we've had where the toppings are phenomenal but everything else is just kind of standard. So the sauce is... Sauce is on like a sweet side. Where are you getting sauce from, bro? If you get there on the corners, you can actually taste it. Very lightly sauced. There's not, there's not a whole lot of sauce going on around here. But, I do get a small tomato flavor, but I mean it's it's the it's the, the standard tomato flavor. It's not there's nothing, you know, uber special about it. For twenty two dollars, um, I don't know. 
feels like you're paying for the toppings on this. Yeah. The edge pieces, far more crispy than the middle pieces. As you see, like this one I got right here, covered in toppings. It's actually a little on the soggy side, probably because of all the meat and grease soaking into it. Which is to be expected. Hmm. I don't know, man. So, all right. Piece is good. Um, its counterpart, which is Peroni's, because they're cooked the same way in a pan. Um, man, huh? It's good. However, I don't think it's as good as Peroni's. So, this pizza is probably. Uh, it's not a beat around the bush, it's like 7 8. You know, here's my thing. Um, so, the sauce is the tomato flavor when you get it, the cheese is the. I mean, it's St. Louis style, right? It's a sheet pan. Thin crust pizza, where the toppings are better than, well, just about anything else. Um, but the toppings are great. Is it better than Salo's pizza? Ah, I don't know. Is it better than Peroni's, like you said? No. Um, is it better than some of the other thin crust pizzas we've had, or St. Louis style pizzas we've had? Yes. Uh, you know, I'm gonna give it a 7.5, just because I'm not, an expert on it but you know all in all $22 for this pizza it's probably due to inflation I can't imagine that this pizza is that expensive because it's literally bacon ham pepperoni and sausage on top of it's very well normal St. Louis style pizza so I'll go 7.5 on it um it didn't really get to go inside to give you some type of impression of Joey B's so uh all in all it's an experience I'm just gonna Call Joey B's a 6-7 and um, move on from there. Uh, I would have liked to give Joey B's a good score. I know they're down on the hill. There's only a couple locations. They're very local. However, nothing here blew my socks off. Hey, but I'll tell you what. If we ordered the wrong stuff, put it in the comment down below. Um, Overall experience, I, I guarantee you, one, we came at the wrong time of the year because that patio out there is dope. That is true. Um... It did kind of suck that, it, that we did have to like wait, wait because the place is super busy, which is a good thing for the business, but not for the consumer. Uh, I'd say probably seven five overall. I didn't get to experience all of it, but it's not all. It's not all wasted. It's not always so when you got pieces like that covered in bacon. I'm keeping my score. It's not changing. Uh, hey, thanks so much for watching, guys. This will be your Thanksgiving video. So I hope you enjoy it. Will there be a video for you guys the week after Thanksgiving? I don't know. It depends on what we're doing that weekend. We might get together and put one out. Uh, if we don't, we run a week behind. So we'll see you then. And also, if there's any place you think that we should go, put it in the comments down below. And we'll see you next time.